Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and two years ago at CES, we saw a whole lot of these 3D TVs, whether you needed glasses or there was glasses list 3D, uh, but people didn't really like them. Uh, they kind of give you a headache, they were a little bit distracting to wear the glasses, so 3D TVs just kind of slowly went away. They're not totally gone, but you don't really see 3D TV marketed nearly as much as you did two years ago. So now, this past January at CES, we saw an interesting new fad pop up. There was obviously a lot of 4K, and that is not a fad, but we also saw these curved TVs from a bunch of manufacturers, these giant curved panels. And a lot of people have asked me questions about it. People are curious, like, are these legit? Are they worth checking out? So this is a quick video on curved TVs explained. So if you've been on this channel a while, you may recall seeing a little while ago, I did a curved smartphones explained video. Uh, but those are much smaller displays. That's a handheld display uh, in phones like the LG G Flex and the Samsung Galaxy Round where you can hold a curved display in your hand. And that might not change the viewing experience a whole lot, but it definitely changes the way you touch the phone and the way you interact with the screen. But these curved TVs are obviously a lot bigger than your phone and they're curved for very different reasons than you would curve a phone. When you curve a phone, you're curving it to fit better in your hand or fit better against your face while making a call because that that's what you do with a phone. When you curve a TV, you get three main differences in the viewing experience. One, immersion. Two, distortion. And three, glare. Now to actually show this to you guys, I'm gonna be using this 55 inch Samsung HU9000 curved TV. And yes, it is actually one of the 4K TVs shown off at CES this year, so it's perfect for this. Now distortion and glare are naturally cons of what people are concerned about when you curve a giant TV like that. Is the image gonna get distorted and is there going to be a lot of glare from weird angles? Uh, and the bottom line is glare really isn't any more of a problem than it is on a normal flat TV. But distortion can get a little bit weird if you're looking at the TV from a weird angle. There's definitely a slightly smaller viewing radius where you want to be while looking at this screen. That doesn't mean you can't look at it from off axis and see everything. It just means that it's going to look a little bit weird from slightly different angles if you're trying to watch a movie and get the full cinematic experience. Now, all these TVs have a pretty similar curve radius, no matter who you buy it from. And that measurement is the radius of the circle this TV would make if you continued its curve all the way around into a complete circle. So that measurement here is 4.2 meters or around 13 and a half feet, which means you'll get the optimal viewing experience if you sit about 13 and a half feet away from this TV in the center of this imaginary circle. That's where the immersion comes in, where you'll really actually notice the curve on the TV and it changes the viewing experience. Now they've made some other changes to make this one in particular a more immersive TV. So, I mean, it's a 4K TV. Of course, more pixels makes the image more immersive. Uh, you get, that's why bezels have been getting thinner to focus more on the content and less on the hardware around it. That's also more immersive. And I welcome all these changes to a TV to make it more immersive. Only it becomes a problem though when it's distracting. 3D, for example, was supposed to be more immersive, but it actually distracted you with the glasses you had to wear or the headaches it would cause when you're looking at it. So that's why it faded away quickly. But I say the subtle curve here on these TVs isn't really distracting. It's as long as you sit somewhere around that 13 foot mark, you'll get a great viewing experience. In fact, if you sit more than 13 feet away, you're too far away. And there's really almost no point. It might as well be a flat panel because you won't notice the curve when you sit too far away. But what's funny is when you sit closer than 13 feet away inside that radius, it gets even more surrounding and the TV actually seems bigger than it really is. So really immersion tends to be the X factor that decides what the difference is between a curved and a flat TV. But honestly, if I'm gonna tell you the truth here, you're gonna wanna just see one in person. It's hard to actually judge if you care about the curves of a TV. A lot of people just don't, you know, it's more expensive, first of all, and you're gonna to have to pay extra to get a curved TV. So if you're going to buy a curved TV, check it out in person first and check out the larger models because the smaller ones, you're not going to be able to tell it's curved nearly as easily. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna ask, what do you think of curved TVs or have you even gotten to see one in person yet? Honestly, the only one I've seen in person is the one I'm showing you today. And after using it now, it's kind of weird to go back to a flat TV just because of the way it appears to you in front of you. Uh, just the angles, the way they work. But let me know what you guys think of curved TVs, curved panels, curved smartphones. Do you even care? I probably wouldn't recommend buying a curved smartphone at this point, but it's a lot more tempting to buy a curved TV. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the very next one. Peace.